Lagos, one of the world's largest cities, generates tons of trash every day. Most of it ends up at the Osolusun dump site, creating a health hazard and contaminating the environment. But the city has come up with a way of improving on waste management that will see garbage turned into electricity, something the city desperately needs. Official estimates put the city's population at around 21 million people who produce about 10,000 metric tons of waste every day. In the same day, the city will get a bare few hours of power, forcing many inhabitants to rely on diesel generators. The Lagos Waste Management Authority is working on a project to generate power using methane extracted from rotting fruit waste that's then turned into latent power. The authority plans to have a 25 megawatt capacity in the next five years. That is building up over a period of time in the digester. Also, you will have digestates in there in form of organic compost, like a sludge. Over a period of time, you could actually open up here and collect the sludge. This is also good for, um, uh, as a fertilizer for the soil and for plants. About 45 percent of the city's trash is made up of organic waste. Converting it into something more useful and cleaner for the environment is long overdue. Among other benefits is that methane is a greenhouse gas 25 times more potent than the carbon dioxide emitted by burning it. Energy is in demand, waste is a headache. So there's a link between the headache and the demand. So uh, if Lagos is able to convert more of his headache into that demand, then it's, it's kind of a, uh, it brings a smart city program. You know, the city becomes smarter and uh, there's a kind of a resilience uh, that you introduce in the city programs. And that's exactly what Lagos is looking at. Traders at the Ecosi market say the project will help clean up the local plantain markets and also enable them to switch off their generators when the power comes on. I feel happy because, you know, to, to, to make fruits, to make fruits, so the fruits can turn to gas and bring us lights. Yes, I feel happy and we enjoy it more than, you know, now we are buying my foil for one time, one general per liter. I thought this one would be better than using petrol. The Lagos state government plans to bury the Osulu Sun site in dirt and transform it into a green park with grass and trees built over it in the future. Pipes in the ground will harness the methane bubbling underneath for the power plant. G2 Abraham, CCTV.